Hello, uh, my name is Deanna, and this is my video on expanding on the games that uh, Wizard has put out for teaching kids how to play Dungeons and Dragons. The first one, uh, Heroes of Hesiod, I think, was really great. Um, it had uh, a similar map to this, only it was a plain field and uh, cages. One, two, three, four. Um, and monsters get released in turn and you fight them off. And it was a really great introduction to kids who'd never played Dungeons and Dragons and weren't used to the mechanics. And I was really excited to see that this one came out because I gave my kids uh, dice sets for as part of their advent calendar this year. And I was wanting to get them uh, set up because a friend of mine is going to be DMing a game for the younger kids at our church and um, I wanted to get them set up for learning how to do it. Um, but this one is a little more, uh, it follows in uh, after the first game. Um, and instead of it being a training exercise, you're actually going an adventure. Uh, this one is the Master of Elements, but it is really following um, the same format. You monster gets released from one, two, three, and then four as you defeat the previous monster, which is great for people who are learning. Uh, but then there's, you finish and that's it. So I wanted to expand it a bit. So what I did is instead of um, the adventure just ending, at the beginning of this adventure, uh, the Masters of Elements, I changed it so that you, the door you enter front through has disappeared and then you have to find a way to get out of there. So after you finish with the um, Thunder Toad and the Elementals, which are low, very low level, uh, one hit and they're dead, except for when they die, they split off into more little lighters. And we've got um, a whirling Worvin, which is kind of an air elemental thing, and a really gross, um, uh, mushroom monster that spits mini mushrooms at you and causes you to go mad. Um, this is actually really, it was really fortunate that I had planned on extending that adventure because this little guy got all of my kids' characters. Um, so at the, when they finished off the, that play, I had the Dusex Machina character get rid of the Mushroom Madness so then they could continue on, but now they have to find their way home. So I put added in uh, three more, four more maps. So this one connects here into a... Just basically a giant hole has fallen into the floor. So they come in, uh, they find the Thunder th Toad, the Thunder Toad leaps into a cave and disappears, and they're going to find their weapons, which they lost because they lost the um, first segment of the game over here so they can collect them. That's if they go through no uh, door number one. Uh, then door number two, which corresponds to the fire elementals, we'll have the fire elementals back in here. Um, so, and if they didn't go into door number one first, uh, I'm gonna have their weapons in this case, uh, and they can get them that way. Uh, or I could just have some food in there because they're trapped. And then door number three, which corresponds here. Uh, I'm going to have the Wind Wyvern escaped back into this room, but I'm going to have him just kind of grumpily uh, licking his wounds in a corner. And this is actually the way out. This is the way out. And what I've done 
is I've made some water elementals, which are hiding in this giant pool of water. And they're going to follow the same rules as the fire elementals. You hit one of the, the, the big one, one hit and it's dead, but then it splits into more. So that will be not too bad if they go into that room first. And then the fourth one is, so that corresponds to that door. And this is where the mushroom guy went into. So they come in and see, this is just what, uh, this is just what they see. And then as they turn corners, I'm going to have, draw a maze in, just a simple maze. Um, and in the far corner, there's this guy, the one who defeated them before. So they'll have the option of not, of just running away from him if they, if they come into this one first and uh, don't have their weapons. So anyway, Basically, the adventure will end uh, if they go through the third door, make it through the water elementals, and then go out the crumbled um, sides of the room, which is basically a hole in the wall. So then they'll be able to go home. And that will be um, that will be an, a good end. So, uh, this comes with character sheets. So we've got the little character tokens and the character sheets. So there's the hit points, there's the speed, there's the attacks. So it's pretty straightforward. They've only got one attack type of attack and one special power. So it's pretty easy for newbie newbies to keep track of that. And there's like five to choose from. They say um, five to six players, including the DM. Um, with us, it was three players and one and me DMing. So, and until we hit the mushroom guy, they were doing quite well. Um, although they did have some problems because they are siblings. My players were siblings, and in two of the cases, they decided not to help each other because they're that's their kids and their brothers and sisters. So, and, and they learned their lesson on that. They learned to cooperate. Um, so, anyways, that is the Masters of the Elements, and I will link the the. So the website down below. And that was how I expanded it to make it a bit of a bigger adventure.